Hello everyone, I have created this channel for those of you who want to learn how to use Aira. In the first three videos, I will be teaching how to install it and etc. While in the following weeks, I will be uploading the steps to reduce spectra with it. I will be assuming a most basic knowledge of Linux, and in particular Ubuntu 12.04. However, if you think I missed some step or do not understand what I am doing, do not doubt to write it down here and I will try to uh, answer you as fast as possible. I really hope these videos help you and let's get started. Okay, the first thing we need is to open a terminal. Since I am using an Ubuntu distribution, I can use the key combination Control Alt T. Now we shall confirm your distribution architecture. You can do that with this command. As you can see, I have a 64 bit distribution. Moreover, since we are going to install some libraries, let's just confirm that your system is updated. We do this command and we input our password. In the meantime, we can download IRA. We just open our favorite browser and we look for its website. If we go down a bit, we shall find the download section. Here we have it, Linux 64 bit. And here for Mac. We download it. Also, we need the 24 bit shin tool, x 11 io However, the one for Linux is not here. We can find it on this address, which, by the way, we will find it on the file within this video description, as well as the commands we shall use to install this software, so you don't need to write them down. And here we have all the x 11 io shin tools. We download this one, bin.linux, if you are using Ubuntu. Perfect. Now, we shall proceed with generating the IRA file structure. To make everything easier, we just give us super user permission. Now we need to make the folders. Oh, sorry. One at a time. And we now move the files we just downloaded to the corresponding files. Similarly, we also move the IRF package to the IRF folder. Now we move to this folder. And we unpack the file. Now we do the same for the scene tool. We move to the corresponding folder and we unpack the file. Perfect. Now we are going to set the IRF account. First we need to download the TCSH package which will the terminal used by IRF. We can do that by using this. We need to wait now a bit more. And now, 
to create the account, we use this command. We just need to input a password for this account. Something easy, you can remember, although you will not be using it a lot. And now, for all the default values, we don't need to enter anything. Enter, 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 enter. Yes. Perfect. Now, we're going to give this account the power over the IRF folder we just created. We need to use this command. And now, we're going to move to this account. Now we are in IRA. And because we are going to need to install a few things, we're going to make our life easier and we're going to give it super user powers. And we put the password we just created. Now we need to define the IRA variable in this account so we can proceed with installation. We use this command. And now we move to this folder. And we source the IRF user TSH file. Perfect. We cannot proceed with the SIM tool installation because I'm using a 64 bit distribution and to install some libraries. This will not be your case if you have a 32 bit distribution. However, in my experience, this is the most complicated step, so it's likely you're missing some uh, libraries. So, you would like need to do something similar. If you have any problems, Please post the comment. In my case, we are going to use this package which contains a great amount of 32 libraries. As you can see, 244 megabytes. My computer has just finished installing the 32-bit library. We can now continue with the installation of the SIM tool. We go to this folder where we can find the install script, which we can execute with this command. Now, the first thing it asks us for the local commands directory. We are just going to use the default one. It will ask you if you want to delete these already installed files. You say yes. Now, you must be very careful that it says OK in everything because it will tell you there is a problem that it's skipping and it will look like everything is OK. But it's not. It will not work. So we just check. It's not skipping any step. And it says OK. Perfect. Manual page installation. We use from now on all the defaults. OK. Again. Okay. 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 The installation is complete. We're going to check. We open a new terminal. Control Alt. And we use the C card. As we can see, we have just opened an XGTEM terminal. We continue. Now we're going to install IRA. For that, we need to go to a folder where its install script is located. You can see it here. And we use the same command with a small modification. Here we use this add to perform a simulated installation to check everything will be alright. Now we use the default root directory. All the defaults should be fine. This is okay. For start configuration, yes. Now, here we're going to try yes, but it's likely you will find problems during this installation. I will enter in a loop and you just have to say no. But now, since this is a simulated installation, yes, we are just going to check. Yes. Okay. It says fail. So we say no. Now we continue with create a default. Take a file, yes. Perfect. No. 
and we just got the installation completed with Nova. Since this was a simulated installation, now we'll try the real one. We save it. On the default, as in the previous case. Post install configuration. And since we had problems with the network, we say no this time. I have should have installed. Let's just try. Let's open a new terminal. And we go to the place where we want to install. We can make it just here in the home folder. Go on. And now here we just need to type the command make I. As a terminal type, we will use exeter, which is the one we just installed. Now, let's just open an exitterm terminal. Now, in here you will see we have created a login point CL file which has our configuration for IR. And if we type CL, we have just open IR. If you reach this window, it means that you have successfully installed IR. My sincere congratulations. In the next videos, we shall modify this login CL file to make IRF a bit more user friendly and we will also install DS9. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.